You know, it's really good to give my muscles a good workout, but I'm wondering if there's something that could be limiting my ability to either build muscle or hang on to it. And I'm wondering if it could be related to my diet. The sporting and exercise world has produced dozens of fad diets. Carb loading, protein windows, paleo, even fasting. I want some sound advice on what I should be eating to support my muscles. So I'm meeting up again with Louise Burke to find out what the latest sports science can tell me. Hello again. Hi. Is that a great looking lunch? That is lovely. Yeah, I know. Mm. So I've, I've been following on from what we talked about and working all of my muscles at the gym. But I Ooh. guess I'm really interested to know from your position as an expert what I should be eating. Is it protein? Right. Is it carbs? What should I be thinking about? Well, it should be a bit of everything, but we need to get the balance right. Yeah. So I'm really liking that plate because it's got a good serve of protein on it. It's meeting mm -hmm. our target. We're trying to aim for 20, 25 grams of protein per serve or per meal time. Mm -hmm. I like the rest of the meal because you've got some carbs to refuel. You've got beautiful vegetables that are going to provide lots of um, healthy vitamins and minerals mm -hmm. and phytochemicals. You've got some healthy fats there. Louise prescribes the same balanced diet that I would to my patients. But there's one big surprise. I've heard a lot about the protein window. You know, how long after exercise do I need to eat something with protein to get the maximum benefit? Well, there's two ways of looking at it. So there's the immediate window, and certainly getting something within the next 30 to 60 minutes helps the muscle to do some immediate synthesis. Yeah. But the key thing to remember is that you've got 24 to 48 hours worth of benefit from a single exercise session. Wow. And so you could be maximising the benefit by trying to spread protein every four or five hours over that time. And that's what people don't do well. Most Australians eat the right amount of protein in total, but they eat it all in the evening. So they have very little for breakfast, very little for lunch, and then they have it all at night time, instead of spreading it to get the maximum benefit. So how does protein actually work to help build muscles? Well, it has two actions. The first is it provides the building blocks from which new muscle protein is made, mm. and most people understand that. But what mm. most people don't recognise is that there's a particular amino acid within the protein composition called leucine, and the function of, of the leucine is to turn on the muscle building machinery. So you've got the building blocks, but if you can turn on the muscle building machinery by exercise number one, and then again by adding that leucine amino acid from protein to the mix, mm. then you get a, a full capacity factory making you <laughs> new protein. Regular protein intake provides both the raw materials and the chemical messengers that promote muscle building. And by doing that, turning it on every four hours or so, by having protein in your meals, that means that your factory's running 24-7 and you're going to get a much better turnout than someone that just turns it on once. Okay. The latest research even suggests a protein-rich snack before bed to get the most for our muscles. I'm just like a whole lot of other people out there in that I tend to clump most of my protein into one meal and I'm just not spacing it out enough through the day. And as Louise was suggesting, it's a good idea to have about 20 grams of protein at each of your main meals and to continue that for a couple of days after you've had that workout. Because during that time, your muscle is still rebuilding. And I think that's one of the myths out there, isn't it? That we think that all of this rebuilding happens in just those few hours after exercise, and it simply doesn't. So when I think about it, if I'm going to the gym and I'm putting in quite a bit of effort with a workout, I could be wasting some of that if I'm simply not refueling right. It's been an incredible privilege being here and seeing how much science goes into the making of our sporting idols. how data collected across thousands of athletes and the extraordinary ways they study them are unlocking the complexity of human performance. From what we eat to how we train and even how we rest and recover. These coaches and athletes believe that science makes winners. But 
more about us. First off, I've been really inspired by yeah. seeing all the athletes. So there's nothing like seeing people performing at their peak for me to yeah. feel like, oh gee, I'd like to work a bit harder. Get somewhere <laughs> close to them. They were amazing. If I'm going to live a long, healthy and active life, the first thing I've learnt is that I really need to do exercise. There is very, very good evidence that regular exercise should decrease your risk profile for developing yeah. diabetes. Yeah. And I've experienced firsthand the science behind high intensity training. Formal. It's kind of fun. And it just might be something I could take up. I can see it as a real time saver, and I can see it as something that I actually did enjoy. And I could incorporate it into my everyday, whether it's riding to work at high intensity between traffic lights. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you're going to get back and start pumping iron? Well, I think that's one thing I really have to focus on. One of the, the ways that older people die is from a lack of muscle mass. I know I've taken my eye off the ball when it comes to my muscle mass. Like nine out of ten Australians, I need to start doing more strength work. And this will get even more important as I age. You know, I'm not planning to be super bulky. I just want to be strong. Yeah. I just want to be able to do the things that will make life more enjoyable. Right. And I think the whole idea here is that you can actually make little changes, whether it's yeah. just taking the stairs at work or walking in your lunch hour. Just anything is actually going to have a huge knock-on effect in terms yeah. of being great for your health. Remember, if you're going to start a vigorous exercise program, do get some professional advice first. But whatever works for you, one thing's for sure, it's bound to be better than any pill you'll get from me.